Welcome back to our This Is Me series. And it's a, a special time, as you all know, of Thanksgiving. So I know as a, a pastor and as a Christian in my own thoughts and prayers that sometimes we don't say or don't share that what we're thankful for. So as part of the This Is Me series, I'm taking a, a slot in our videos to talk about what I'm thankful for, especially this last year. So obviously, first and foremost, I'm thankful for um, my wife, Kristen, for the support that she provides me to always be um, a better person and that together through whatever challenges or great accomplishments, we, um, we share that together. And to you know, be willing to follow me with my career wherever I go from Illinois to Ohio and Ohio back to Michigan. I'm very thankful for that. I'm also thankful for um, family who's very important to me, having um, a loving and inspiring um, family growing up in that environment of always um, being encouraged to chase my dreams and being supported when there were um, setbacks, and there have been many um, in the last couple of years. <clears throat> so I'm thankful for uh, my family and being able to see them, even though most of them live in Illinois and Wisconsin, that with vaccines, that was such a, a huge um, thing for me for all of us to get vaccinated so that we could see each other because as many of you out there know, between when the pandemic started um, and when we were able to see family and friends, um, for me it was from about, I saw my family at 20, or 2019 Christmas and then not again until July. So that was quite a long time to not see a family that I'm close to. I'm also very thankful for my call to ministry that um, there's this spirit of resiliency and um, wanting to be the church and think outside the box that in my previous community that was um, part of my ministry with creating uh, a garden and revitalizing the youth program and trying to get the members and staff of the church outside the walls and involved with their their hands in making the needs of reality, the needs of the community into something that was positive and, and beautiful. So I'm thankful for uh, FCC. I'm thankful to be called to be your pastor, that I know this is a difficult time, but I'm thankful to be part of the process, to um, be part of the beloved community of God, to hear God's still speaking voice, and even during this time of pandemic, that we are doing this together, that we may not all have the answers, but we um, can be a, a faithful people together, whatever that may, may mean, and still make a positive difference in the world and in our own local community. It's been a, a great, great, um, grateful or, or thanksgiving experience <clears throat> in my own life this last year to um to preside or officiate my cousin Matt's wedding that was exciting in Illinois and then just the the day before that my um best friend Steve got married and I was the best man so that was a huge thing I was thankful for and grateful for to have um, both the, the craziness of that, of um, doing my best man duties from a couple states away and being there to be part of his wedding ceremony. But then the next day, um, being part of my cousin Matt's wedding by serving as the officiant or pastor. 
so there are just some of the things that I'm I'm thankful for the the big things um, in my life over this past year. There are probably many more things that I could say. You know, the the everyday things, um, especially health during this time of pandemic, shelter, um, support from some friends and uh, acquaintances food, you know, water, those kind of things, security. Those are <clears throat> some of the things that I'm thankful for. But I think it's important to, that we raise our voices to share what we are thankful for as acknowledgement um, to God and to our ourselves, to those that we love, that there are many things, even during these challenging times, that we can be thankful and grateful for um, over the last year like being together for many of you for Thanksgiving or maybe for, for Christmas, um, if you see fit. So I want to hear from you. What are, what are you thankful for the last year? Um, the, the big milestone things, like I said, being involved in two weddings and seeing my family and being called to, uh, FCC about changing, um, about changing churches during the middle of the pandemic, but also the, the things that we often take for granted, the shelter, water, food, uh, you know, health, especially. So I'd love to hear from you. And next week we will begin Advent. So we're going to take our This Is Me series in a little bit different direction. So um, it's gonna, I, think you'll, I think you'll like it. We're talking about gifts and traditions and, and, uh, and Advent and Christmas itself. So I'd love to hear from you. So I look to see look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we start Advent and our sanctuary being decorated. May it be so. Amen.